Hello, all my radically wild shows out there. Here I am at an abandoned property next to mine. This is the property line right here. I came down to see this beautiful yucca plant, cassava, and I wanted to harvest this to see. And to my surprise, I'm not really that surprised anymore. This is what I find. Amount of garbage. I'm stepping on garbage. I have to be careful. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of plastic down here. I have to be careful because there's glass everywhere and I live barefoot. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at all that garbage. Even a baby's chair because that is their children's inheritance. Look at this. All this is garbage. All that is garbage. Refrigerators, about 10 of them, thrown down the mountain here. Look at that. Look at that. This is how the people choose to treat this island, like a landfill. Puerto Rico has become a landfill to the people. This is how the people, the majority of the people, treat this beautiful island, this beautiful paradise. Indeed. Look at this place. You have a river and a beach for every day of the year. You have all this beauty. You have so much fertile land. So much fertile land to grow whatever you like year round. And this is what the people choose to grow. Garbage. They choose to grow garbage. I wrote a sign that read Island of Enchantment because that's what they call Puerto Rico. Island of Enchantment, the enchantment has gotten lost under the garbage because this is what I mean and that's why I decided to walk around with a sign for the last five years through the beaches and the rivers just to wake people up to this reality that they have ignored for for a long time and this is what the people choose to grow here such fertile land such fertile land to grow whatever you want 90 percent 85 percent of the food here is imported because the people choose to grow garbage instead of food. And that's really sad. Everyone is proud of their island. But that pride doesn't mean a damn thing when you treat the island like this. When you ignore the garbage, your pride doesn't mean anything. When you ignore all of this and just let it happen. Sit there idly. Everyone's used to this. Everyone is used to seeing garbage everywhere, that it's normal to them. And, and for me, for me it seems like they love their flag more than do they do their own island. They would paint that flag in the buildings, they would drive around with their flags, they would put it all over their house and then they would do this. This is what they would do. But perhaps, but perhaps we should cover the whole island with a big giant flag so that the people could respect the island the way they do respect that flag so they could love their island just like they love their flag because treating your island like this this is not love this is disrespect disrespect i i'm not sure what possesses anybody to come all the way up here to throw their garbage i wrote a blog on my website radicallywild.com that we should replace all this garbage with fruit trees and flowers and that's what I'm gonna do here just like I have been picking up garbage in the beaches and rivers for the last five years I and decided to be the guardian of those beaches and rivers I'm going to be the guardian of this forest I'm gonna reforest everything that I see here I'm gonna replace all this garbage because if I don't who will that's the question this shouldn't be normal. This shouldn't be second nature. And as I always say, it has it seems to me like nature has become the people's garbage can. We have to wake up to this reality here. This is pathetic and sad and shameful to treat a beautiful island, a beautiful paradise like this. I can't harvest anything because it's buried under garbage. We shouldn't be harvesting garbage. We should be harvesting fruits and vegetables here in Puerto Rico. It's really sad, indeed. 
if anybody if anybody would like to donate to help me get materials and bags so that I could start cleaning this up you can visit my website radicallywild.com and follow me on my journey of cleaning this whole farm uh, with garbage and planting fruit trees and flowers let's be the change people grow food grow peace